Good evening to everybody. Ay, good afternoon pa palang pala. Sorry, nagmadali ako. Salay na ako evening. Uh, welcome to another round of uh, Volleyball Talks. Uh, this time we have a very special team here and a, lot, uh, and a good friend joining us. But before we call on them, I'd like to call my co-host. First, Vince Wico. Good afternoon to the viewers of Sports Bites. Thank you, Brian. Uh, welcome to the program, our guests, welcome to the program, and we look forward to an afternoon of, of an engaging conversation. Wala pa 24 hours, please. Magkasama tayo, magkasama na naman tayo. Oh, nga eh. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have our resident uh, volleyball expert and writer, Mr. Andy Fiel. Afternoon pa lang, Brian. <laughs> oh nga eh. Halatang hino pa ako, no? <laughs> Hi Vince. Uh, to <laughs> all the ano, sa mga manonood ng Sports Bites, uh, magandang hapon po and sa ating mga bisita. Uh, it's great to be here. Yon. So, wag natin patagalin, no. Let's call out our guest now, no. Ito, I, I'll, first ko tatawagin is a very special person. Ang sarap-sarap ko usap kwentuhan and I'm happy na finally nakausap siya ulit. No other than Mr. Hill Cortez, the team manager for Bali Pure. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Brian, uh, Andy, and Vince. Uh, and to my uh, uh, coach, uh, Coach John, uh, Gaira, and Grace. No? Uh, it's be, it is an honor to be here again. Uh, thank you for inviting us. And uh, hopefully we could have a good uh conversation, uh, kwentuhan, at uh, uh, palagi naman kami ni Brian yan eh. Uh, pag uh, nag-usap kami itong po sa sports eh, ang dami namin eh. Kulang yung, kulang yung limang oras eh. eh okay. Sa basketball ah. I don't know about volleyball. <laughs> Ito, ten... Anyway, uh, yes, good afternoon everyone. Ito sir, masusubuhan kayo. Ibang sport ito pag-uusapan natin eh. Oo <laughs> And of course, kasama rin natin ang Balikur Head Coach, Mr. Romel Abelia. Hi, good afternoon po sa inyo lahat. Uh, thanks for inviting us and uh, hopefully masagot namin yung mga tanong nyo. Sana wag mahirap. <laughs> and by the way, Sir, uh, Sir Coach Andy, happy birthday po pala. Bang, kakilala pala kayo, Andy. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> birthday ni Andy? Yes po. Oh. Happy birthday, Andy. <laughs> and I'd like to greet also one of our players, si Rosel Baliton. Yes, Happy po. birthday, Rosel. Yon. At siyempre, hindi mabubuo itong program kung wala yung mga beautiful faces nila Hill. Si Sir Hill Curtis, siya naman si Romel. First off, let me call Grace Bombita. Hi po, good afternoon. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Yon. Hello. Good afternoon, Miss Grace. Hello po. Hello, sir. And one and another pretty face uh, joining us. Ako, Sir Hill, baka mamaya marami nang mag-anong-tanong tungkol dito. Si Miss Jaira Baroga. Hi po, good afternoon. Looking forward to a fun interview. Yeah. Good afternoon, Jaira. So before we go with the interview proper, I send you to the hard-hitting questions of Vince and Andy. Tatanoy ko muna kayo, kumusta po tayo dyan? We all know that the situation right now is not that good. Sir Hill, kayo po muna at kumusta na po tayo dyan? Again, again, Brian. So, how are you these past days? Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm okay. Uh, staying home lang. Hirap uh, uh, kasi dahil uh, sanay tayong lumalabas uh, at uh, palagi tayong usually nasa Manila, no? every now and then. And ngayon, biglang naka-confine ka lang sa bahay. Mm -hmm. At I go to the office in uh, Angeles City, yung Balibago Waterworks System Incorporated, our model company. I just, I don't go down the, no, the car. So usually, I just get some papers, then sign papers, and then alis na ako. Uh, kasi, yun nga, uh, mahirap eh. No? Dami kasing kaso rin sa Pampanga. Oh yeah. So anyway, uh, 
pinagdadasal ko nga yung mga aking kasamahan sa Balibago Waterworks na medyo nag-lockdown kami dahil uh, ma- medyo may mga tinamahan din. So, hopefully, uh, umusay na yung sitwasyon doon sa uh, sa Angela City, sa BWS. I see, sir. How about you, Coach Romel? Gusto po tayo dyan. Um, very rutinary na ang, ang, ang naging sitwasyon kasi like now, syempre, sabi nga ni Sir Hill, uh, bawal lumabas, uh, nakakonfine lang sa bahay. So, ang gawa ko lang, uh, hatid sundo sa wife kasi may uh, work as a nurse and um, nag-aalaga ng bata. <laughs> How about you, Grace? Kumusta tayo dyan? Sir, ayun, kahit na mahirap yung sitwasyon nga dahil nga sa pandemic, pero tinatry ko pa rin talaga maging productive every day. Like may every yung virtual uh, training natin. So, ayun po. And Jaira? Oh, well, the pandemic has been hard. Oh, lalo na lahat ng routines natin nagbago, di ba? Pero I guess what's nice is yung routine ko with my dad. Nagpe-train pa rin kami sa house. So, um, nagkapakondisyon pa rin every day. All right. So, hindi ko na patagarin. Ready na ba kayo sa mga questions ni Andy at ni Vince? <laughs> I'll turn the, the, the mic over to ano, Vince, you first. Andy muna. Let's have Andy. All right, Andy. Okay, um this is ano, um if it's okay with everyone, I'll I'll go through ano, uh, uh the players then to coach then to Sir Hill. Um Gaira, uh, Grace, I I want to know kasi yung actually um I've I've already been seeing you guys uh on TV, on tournaments and so and also some of your history I already know because we have mutual friends. But uh people kasi are interested paano kayo nagsimula maglaro uh ng volleyball. Eh. So maybe pwede nating Uh, i- i-reverse history kung paano kayo umabot sa Bali Pure tas kung saan kayo nagsimula siguro magsimula tayo kay Gaira then to Grace Well, I started playing volleyball kasi wala akong choice because my dad's an athlete my dad's, an, my dad's a coach so um, nag-high school ako sa UST and then my dad suddenly told me na Gaira, you have training sa UST ng Wednesday. I remember the date. Tapos sabi ko, what training? Sabi niya, you have to play volleyball. You're gonna play volleyball for UST. So yun, um, I played for UST, the UST girls volleyball team. Um, I played under Coach Pung Reyes and Coach Ian Fernandez. And then I moved to La Salle for college. And then I played for Coco Life and Choco Mucho. And I also played for the under-17 Philippine team on my third year of high school. Nice. So, ikaw naman, Grace, paano ang simula mo sa volleyball? Nag-start ako maglaro talaga since grade 3. <laughs> hmm. And after college, uh, yun nga po, never ko in-expect talaga makapaglaro ng volleyball dito sa Manila. Nang makilala ko si Mayor, 2016, yun yung time na nakapaglaro ako dito. Yung first time ko maglaro dito sa Manila. And tuloy-tuloy na yun. Tapos nung paglipat namin, 2017, dito, yun, nag-try out ako. And yun nga, pang-apat na try out ko talaga sa Bali. Kasi yung first team ko is yung Team Erika. Yun po, kaya ako napunta sa Bali. Alright, thank you for that. Uh, kay Coach naman, Uh, coach, uh, kasi alam mo, alam ko kasi sanay na sanay ka na talagang physical training, you go to venues, gagawa ka talaga ng program, tapos um, tinitsinecheck mo talaga yung form ng mga players mo. Alam ko yun talaga yung ano mo eh, that's the best case scenario for you eh. Pero ngayong may pandemya tayo, mukhang kailangan talaga puro online no? para mag-iingat lang sa mga players yung ano yung challenge nun para sa iyo na nakasanayan mo isang way ng pagko-coach tapos ngayon kailangan malimita tayo sa online ano yung challenges nun para sa iyo yes coach uh, totoo yun kasi like 
sa, sa ating mga coaches, mas gusto talaga natin yung physical face-to-face training. Uh, but since yung pandemic na wouldn't permit us to do that, medyo kailangan natin mag-adjust ng malaki, malaking adjustment. And ngayon, puro virtual. Ang hirap kasi uh, send ng or minsan delayed kasi magsisend lang ng videos and then you have to check everybody, every every player, tapos you have to correct. Kaya lang yung correction kasi uh, medyo late na. Unlike with physical face-to-face training na on the spot, on, ta- uh, on time yung 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 pag-correct mo, yung pagtama mo sa mga uh, maling ginagawa. But now, yun nga, you have to adjust. Uh, lalo na ngayon, puro physical conditioning lang ang magagawa mo. Uh, so, doon kami tumututok talaga ngayon na uh, maging condition yung mga players ng, namin before we actually have the go signal to do the face-to-face training para less yung mga injuries and mas maganda yung itatakbo ng training namin. Right. Thank you, Coach. And this is for Sir Hill. Uh, Sir Hill, I know that uh, this is uh, obviously um immense challenge for your office as uh, the one who oversees everything for the team. And obviously, you will be the one that will be um, plugging the holes eh, ka nga, sa, ano, sa organization ninyo. So how how do you ano how did you go about trying to make sure na yung organization smooth pa rin yung galaw ng mga ano activities, the training, the the players, their concerns and everything. Paano po ninyo hinaharap po yung challenge na yun? Andy, ako uh hands on ako eh no. Uh, I may not be physically present but every day I call the staff, no, the coaching staff. And uh, I have this uh, friend, uh, our assistant coach, uh, assistant team manager who happens to be there uh, most of the time. And uh, palagi akong tumatawag dyan uh, sa kanila at uh, trying to ask kung ano nangyari. So, Alam ko kung sino yung hindi nakadating sa insayo, dumating at meron karamdaman at pinauwi ng coach. So, things like those, no? And then, yung mga needs nila. And then, yung mga, of course, uh, I'm also the one taking, uh, ano, uh, ano tawag dito? Looking for sponsors for the team, no? Uh, para at least makatulong sa team namin, no? And by the way, the Team Bali Pure is called now Team Bali Pure Water Defenders powered by Peak Form and PCSDF, which is Philippine uh, Confederation Sports Development Foundation. It is being chaired by my apot. It is being chaired by uh, our assistant team manager. Si Mr. Marvin Gusoko. Uh, and then yung pick four naman, ang pinakahead dun is si Dr. Gar Eufemio. No? So they're helping the team uh, with regards to dun sa mga kailangan din ng mga players namin, yung mga expenses namin. So yun. Anyway, by the way, um, yung mother company namin is Balibago Waterworks System Incorporated. Uh, the company offers water supply, no services, and distributes water to uh, sit to the cities, municipalities, subdivisions, etc. No, we provide utility services. We have more than 65 branches all over the Philippines, uh, from north to south. No, uh, magsisimula ka sa Ilocos hanggang sa Mindanao. Our our last is Davao, Mati, no. And uh, VWSI acquires, establishes, develops, manages, and operates the uh, waterworks utility system. No? And uh, I'd like to mention also, our, and I'd like to thank our chairman. Chairman is our chairman is Mr. Michael Escaler, a champion athlete in Ateneo, and uh, track and field athletics. No? And also our president is Mr. Tito Panlilio. Uh, who was an athlete himself and uh, paid for the 69 NCAA champion team of 
the Ateneo Blue Eagles. He played alongside with Francis Arnais, Joy Cleofas, and, and uh, Marty, Marty Samson. So, itong Bali Pier na ito, um, nabuo ito uh, dahil uh, the president thought of uh, since we're into water business, might as well uh, produce a uh, bottled water, uh, purified water for for the people to to avail of. No? So, yun yun, yun ang uh, ano namin. Uh, we started joining uh, in 2016 sa Shakey's League pa siya uh, Actually, we were supposed to play for uh, um, sa MPBL. We were being uh, offered a, uh, a franchise there, but we thought of uh, going to volleyball because uh, mas sumisikat yung volleyball that time on in 2016. So we opted to join and form the team. Taman tama naman yung Ateneo, uh, Ateneo ladies, eh, walang sponsor, and they thought of us, yung company namin, to sponsor the team. So it was led by, yung first team namin was led by Eliza Valdez, with sina Jem, uh, Jem, sina Denden Lazaro, tapos si, uh, yun, yung Ateneo team. So okay naman, ang start namin, uh, though we didn't land uh, sa finals, we were able to get two bronzes with that team. Uh, and yeah, new lang. Thank you, Sir Hill. Uh, Vince, I'll give it to you. Thanks, Andy. My first question is to Mr. Cortez. Um, before I ask you a question, uh, I know you've uh, you played in the PBA for many years. You played for yes. Toyota and Utex. Yes, right. And then, um, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. You you used to you taught at the Milo Best. Yes. I remember you were one of the coaches because I I, I went through Milo Best. I from level one to level one to four. I, I I used to see you there as one of the coaches. I never I never went through your coaching, but I used to see there I used to see you there every Saturday. Um, so there anyway. Um, my my question is, um, as team manager, um, the operations of the team are directly under you. How have you been able to navigate through all these challenges posed by COVID to meet the needs of your uh, your team? How how are you able to work around these these obstacles? Um, Vin, so tama ka. Uh, nag uh, Milo Best coach ako. Uh, I don't know kung saan venue tayo nakita, nakikita. Vialago. Oh, Vialago. Well, every Saturday and Sunday yun. Uh, like weekend. So that's true. Matagal na yun. That means yes. matagal ka na rin. <laughs> uh, well, uh, anyway, um, Zoom meeting usually um, and coordination, uh, yun ang pinaka-importante. No? Uh, kasi ako, uh, bago ako matulog, I make a checklist on what on what I should be telling uh, all the uh, coaches, officials, the staff, and then sila ng bala to disseminate to the players also, no? yung mga ganyang bagay. Uh, Mag-uumpisa pa lang kami. So since na, no, yung mga, ang yung pinaka-importante dito, yung, uh, yung uh, kung paano yung mga program sa mga coaches, in which palagi kaming nang-uusap ni Coach Jan. Siguro si Coach Jan, tatawagan ko yan mga apat na beses sa isang araw. Kahit na gabi na ako minsan, 11 o'clock, tatawagan ko yung PT, tatalong ko, oh, kumusta, ano nangyari? Oh, uh, can you give me some uh, videos for yung sa practice practice na nangyari? So, yun, ganun lang. Uh, it's very hard for for me, no? especially ako, uh, I have managed a lot of teams already. Yung, if you remember yung Pampanga Dragons na nag-champion, talagang ako na nagbuo nun, ako yung uh, manage I was supposed to coach that team pero I always believe in a good organization that's why I didn't uh, took up the challenge na dalawa yung position na kukunin ko kasi saka hindi ako ano sa uh, magdo-doubly sweldo ko hindi ganun 
ang pinakamaganda sa isang organization yung talagang kumpleto at saka isipin mo kung anong kapakanan ng isang uh, team na pina, pinapasukan mo. So so yun uh, so yun um, medyo hirap na hirap ako ng konti pero hopefully uh, magkakaroon tayo ng konting ano ng konting uh, magre-relax ng konti pero ngayon gaya nung narinig natin ECQ na naman so hirap you know? even the players hirap na hirap even the coaches yun uh, usually zoom meeting lang din sa uh, coordination uh, yung dapat magawa uh, kailangan yung everyday ano uh, coordination sa lahat bawat isa Thank you, sir. Kay, ano naman tayo, kay Coach Romel. Coach, binanggit nyo yung wife nyo works uh, as a nurse. Ngayon ang tanong ko, when hinahatid mo siya sa hospital, meron bang bahagi ng isipan mo na may, may anxiety, apprehension, pero at the same time, you have to prepare your team for the upcoming season. Um, how challenging yung yung every day na how challenging yung situation na yun? Um, very challenging. Uh, Siyempre may apprehension kasi uh, lalo na kami may kid pa kami uh, one and a half years old pa lang. So medyo talagang todo ingat yung ginagawa namin and uh, pag nandito naman siya uh, I get to um, kumbaga na nagagawa ko yung mga gusto kong gawin with, in terms of Uh, coordinating with our PTs, with our, with our uh, assistant coaches, kung ano yung gagawin namin na, uh, na program and uh, kung sino yung mga tututukan namin na players for, for the conditioning and what program to give. Okay, second question, Coach. Ano yung um, goals nyo this coming season? Uh, is it to make the postseason, mag-playoffs? Ano yung goals ng Valley Pure for, for this coming season? Actually, uh, for every team naman, uh, ang goal talaga ng every team is to get to the championship. Yun naman talaga yung goal ng every team. But ako naniniwala kasi ako ever since I started coaching, naniniwala ako na ano, uh, to take it one game at a time. Uh, kasi I believe in uh, progress. Eh. Hindi talaga siya perfection yung gusto ko. I believe in progress. So pag nakikita ko may progress yung mga players ko, doon natutuwa ako talaga. And uh, with progress yung comes with the, with the result also. Thank you, Coach. Okay, oh, my, my next question is for Gaira and, uh, oh, and Grace. So when nag-professional ang, ang oh, PVL, oh, um, oh, anong initial oh, thoughts oh, nyo? Oh, is um, yung feeling ba na naabutan nyo na yung pinnacle ng volleyball career nyo? Or... Uh, Um, oh. meron bang feeling na hindi pa satisfied na you'd like to na gusto niya maging successful now uh, starting with this coming season um, as a professional well, um, I guess transitioning into a professional league parang mas maganda and it's gonna be more challenging for us players and also for all the teams kasi we can see naman now na super lakas ng teams ng PVL mas magiging challenging yung mga laro which i guess would help us grow into better players kasi we experience semi pro and we're done with that mas magandang maggrow and improve kami with this setting thank you grace uh, for me naman po nung inannounce nila na magiging pro na yung PVL sobrang saya kasi well feeling kasi um yung mga bata may lo look forward na talaga sila I mean, hindi na sasabihin na volleyball player ka lang. And um, mas lalo silang mamomotivate sa gagawin. Kinag- I mean, gagawin nila. And lalo pa ngayon na katulad ng na-mention ni Gaira na malalakas talaga yung team. Um, challenging siya pero exciting kasi masusukot talaga yung level ng laro mo. Right. Thank you. Back to you, Andy. Or Brian. Ako na. Ako na magalang muna. So bago ko magtanong mo, um batiin ko lang Sir Hill, kumusta ano? Kumusta raw sabi ni Ernesto Leo Hernandez? Nanonood po siya ngayon. Yes, kumusta Ernest? Uh, 
yun sir. Okay. Yeah. Tapos um good evening, ay good evening tuloy na haba na sa akin. Good afternoon Sir Hill, Grace Gera uh, and Coach Jan from Mark Francis de Vera. Actually si Mark Francis yon. So anyway, uh, Sir Hill, kayo muna tatanungin ko po dito. Yung kasi I I know we discussed this before we went on air. Parang we are all aware na medyo very competitive ang BBL now with the transfer of some teams. Um, how do you size up um, Bali Pure against the competition with your cast? With the cast that we have now, with the players that we have now, I think it's much better than the one we had uh, the last time. And I think it will be a competitive team. Though ang uh, advantage sa amin ng mga kakalaban namin, kasi napakalakas nila, no? uh, sila, especially uh yung yung sa PVL and then yung teams guarding from PSL they're really strong teams no eh kami naman eh ang napag-usapan namin sa Zoom namin ng mga players eh bug tayo magpasindak laban lang lang tayo ng laban kahit ano ang uh, uh kahit ma malalakas yung kalaban natin kasi once na nagpasindak ka wala na masisira yung laro no? so I've always believed in that. No, kasi ako nung ako naglaro, dalawa lang yan eh. Sabi ko, uh, when I was uh, rookie sa PB, it's either lumabang ka or magpasinda ka. So I chose the first one. So nagbunga naman. At uh, was able to, yun na nga, got the Rookie of the Year Award, first rookie. So ganun din ang dapat gawin ng uh, mga atleta namin. Uh, na hindi sila magpapasinda kahit gaano ka karami na mahuhusay sa kabilang mga teams na may mga pangalan and mas 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 dapat na uh, gugustuhin nila na magpakita sila ng ng tapang at ng uh, ano nila ng skills nila dahil they have something to prove no but these uh, these uh, players that we have now uh, may mga pangalan din yan, mga yan. Hindi nga lang sikat na sikat kamukha ng mga ibang, ibang teams. No? Pero uh, hopefully, we pray and uh, hopefully we give a good fight to them. And uh, uh, one game at a time, uh, we will see and then we will adjust. Na kay Coach John na yan. So, di ba? Coach, so, yun. Uh, I think Uh, basta lumaban lang kami may ano may may ano may ano tawag dito uh, magkakaroon kami ng ano ng ano tawag dito uh, uh, basta magsamahan lang kami at lalaban kami may pupuntahan kami ng pwesto yeah. sir would you consider yourselves underdogs or something like that yes yeah, so maganda yung underdog underdog kami talaga Uh, tsaka makita mo naman yung mga teams no? um, uh, advantage sila yun nga, uh, grupo sila uh, matagal na sila magkakasama at uh, kami eh, kabubuo lang ng team uh, medyo kakapakapapa uh, siyempre they will try to feel each other kung paano laro ng ibabat isa so uh, hopefully we could uh, gel uh, calm the bubble time no nasa mga players na rin yan. Uh, o sige lang sila, sabi ko sa kanila palagi. At uh, para may maabot kami. Uh, maabot namin yung gusto namin mapuntaan. So, we're not thinking of uh, uh, tagad nandun kami. No? Uh, kasi we're, we'll, maga, we're a new team. Ilan lang ang natira sa team namin last year. Si Grace lang, tapos si Shirley Salamagos. And, uh, sa ating spiritu. The rest are new new players no, for Bali Pure. But uh, I think hindi naman sila mapupunta sa Bali Pure kung in, wala silang ibubunga. So meron, meron lahat yan. Uh, may nakatago lahat yan. At uh, uh, ba, ba, bahala na si Coach John na magpalabas yung mga potential sila. So sarap bang ito rin si Grace. I'd like to ask my next question to Grace. <clears throat> okay, so if you're one of the resident players for Balipur, 
what are what do you what do you think about the big changes in your team compared to before not this year for this coming ah uh, siguro para sa akin mas ano mas madaling makakapag-adjust yung bawat isa. Uh, kasi, kahit hindi pa kami nagkaka, I mean, face-to-face, pero, alam ko makikinig yung mga bata. I mean, importante kasi sa isang team is, makikinig, nakikinig eh, nakikinig yung mga players sa, sa coaches, kasi para din naman sa amin. So, ayun. Although malaki yung magiging adjustment, kahit tatlo lang kami natira ng dating uh, team, Uh, si Sati and si Church. I take a bath. Um, sobrang laki ng tiwala ko dito sa bagong mga players. And alam ko, marami pa silang ibibigay. Si Coach, Coach John and Coach Karen, si Mbala. <laughs> Ayun po. So, ano, Grace, would it be safe to say that you are the leader or one of the leaders that the team is looking forward, looking up to? Oh, ba sa mga leaders or are you the leader for for this coming season of the team? Ano sir, sa sabi ko, ikaw Kahit hindi naman ako leader, ano, dyan naman ako. I mean, gagawin ko pa rin. Sabi ko nga kay Sir Nila, babawi talaga. Mm-hmm. So, eh. Playing safe ka, ha? <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, Grace, dapat bumabi ka talaga. <laughs> Times three. Times three yung ano eh. Yung trabaho. <laughs> Sige. I-times four mo. It's a super sign na ba ako, sir? <laughs> sir, wala na. Matatakot na sa braso ko. Ako lumalaki na. <laughs> Joke na. So, I like to give the thoughts of Gaya for that. Anong, at kasabaga, parang, yun nga, sinabi niya nga ni Sir Hill kanina that you're parang underdogs. How do, how do you deal with it? Anong, anong, what can you say about it? Well, it's true that we're underdogs because uh, one thing, we're all new, like we're a new team and it's going to be a process for us to gel with each other because we came from different um, teams before, different colleges, ganun. So I guess now, given Coach John's uh, experience, I think we're going to have a better ex- better chance to gel when we're face-to-face now because Um, I know Coach John from USD Boys Volleyball Team. So whenever we would train before, they were there. So I already know his system. So it's going to be easier for us to adjust. And since you are there, there's an interesting question here for you. Um, hello, Gaira. Can I say something? I know it's a big challenge on your part because... Galing ka sa pamilyang volleyball player like your dad, Edgar. I believe in your talent and good luck just a very good at maraming sumusuporto sa volleyball. Thank you. Um, it's a challenge to have my dad uh, my dad being a coach kasi uh, right now, he's gonna be the coach for UAC, di ba? And he would wake me up. Wala akong choice but to work out kasi ako yung demo niya sa team niya. He's gonna send my videos na okay, ito yung drills natin for the day. Tapos, in the afternoon naman, we would do ball drills after yung workout namin with Coach John for the Valley Pair team. So, bakbakan talaga here sa house. Very challenging pero very fun. Mm, I see. So, ang ultimate question ko rito kay Coach. Coach, Di ba tayo? Yes, I know you have um, years of experience also already in volleyball. But how how do you see this coming season given na yun nga, sinabi niya nga that underdogs, pero lalaban pa rin kayo? Yes sir, of course. Uh, mas maganda ngayong underdogs eh. Uh, mas maganda yung uh, galing sa baba, tapos aakyat, uh, more of a Cinderella story. Uh, kahit naman nung naglalaro ako, uh, mas gusto ko yung mas feel ko yung underdog ako eh. Kasi Uh, mas gusto ko yung ipakita doon sa ibang tao na kaya ko. So, with the team, since underdogs nga kami, gusto ko ganun din yung magiging ano nila, motivation nila na, no, um, we're capable, valuable players. Uh, kaya namin to We just have to work hard. Yun lang naman. All right Thank you, Coach ben, uh, Vince or Andy, who's next? Andy? Yeah. Thank or- you, Brian. Um, Coach, total eh, ikaw yung huling yes, na itanong sa iyo kung nare iyo una. <laughs> okay. Kasi alam ko, ano eh, you are very, ano, 
systematic at may struktura ang mga ensayo mo eh. Alam ko ayaw mo ng mga biglaan talaga. So, ito kasi yung challenge niya. Online, tapos parating pa lang yung face-to-face, parating yung liga. Uh, dun sa iyong ikangang pag, paglagay ng periodization, dun sa ensayo hanggang dun sa pagpunta sa liga, ano yung plano mo o goal mo going into uh, the PVL tournament? Paano mo kumbaga hinati-halti lahat ng gagawin para umabot dun sa point na medyo handa na kayo pagdating sa PVL? At ano talaga yung ultimate goal mo rin pagdating sa PVL? Um, um, go ahead, sir. Coach. Um, for now kasi, ang gusto ko lang makita, aside from uh, players getting physically uh, fit, yung na, nasa magandang condition, is uh, yung chemistry. Uh, so dun sa base form dun sa napapansin naman namin sa mga group shots namin uh, medyo maganda naman yung samahan medyo magaan so that's what we're trying to build up right now yung aside from being uh, physically fit and conditioned is yung yung chemistry ng team yun na talaga yung uh, binubuo namin since karamihan nga puro bago so yun ang major factor and uh, nasabi nga rin kanina nila Sir Hila siya nung uh, nila Gaira at siya ni Chris na ang lamang talaga sa amin ng ibang teams is they've been together for years na. So matagal na sila magkakasama, matagal na sila magkakakilala. And uh, that's one of the goals that that we have for the team right now na kailangan yung chemistry natin, ma-work on natin. And para pagpunta natin ng face-to-face, sobrang gaan na nung, nung atmosphere ng ensayo, uh, yung condition ng katawan natin, okay na. And going to the bubble, going to the PVL tournament itself, yung nga sabi ko kanina, uh, I want to see progress eh. Uh, if we don't get a win on the first uh, game, uh, we have to work on it, kung ano yung mga kailangan gawin, para, gawa ng paraan. And then, kailangan come second game, kailangan makakakita na tayo ng progress. And then, yung mga result, it will follow naman. Okay. Salamat, Coach. Uh, Coach. Ito naman para kay Gaira at kay Grace. Kasi... Kayong dalawa, ano eh. um, although you guys are still very young, you are very experienced na. Ang dami nyo ng pinanggalingan ng mga teams at liga. Uh, yung question ko para sa inyo, isa lang. Um, ano sa tingin nyo yung, kumbaga, yung strength nyo? Pwedeng skill, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng mental fortitude or pwede yung kunyari marun, magaling ka makisama kagaya ng sinabi ni coach ano yung strength nyo na pwede na, na maidadala nyo sa Bali Pure para yung team nyo mas maganda ang i-perform pagdating sa PVL so I'll start with Gaira Siguro po what I can bring to the team is being with uh, having this sense na I'm willing to learn and willing to go through the process of what the coaches will give us. Uh, yung sabi nga ni coach, it's not about, it's about progression. And it's really not about perfection. So you really have to progress every day even though it's so small. So I guess what I can bring to the team is having this fresh mindset na to motivate them and to give them strength when we're really down. That's what I want to give the team. Okay, thank you. Grace, uh, how about you? Uh, for me naman po, um, trust, in pro- trust the process. I mean, kailangan talagang magtiwala sa mga coaches na, especially din sa mga kasama ko. Um, mamamot- I mean, siguro yung one way na mamotivate ko sila is being present. I mean, andyan ka lagi for them. I mean, i-share mo sila na kaya mo yan. Maniwala ka lang. I mean, importante kasi sa isang, sa isang player is naniniwala ka sa kakayanan. Ayan. So, Thank you. Uh, Sir Hill, sa inyo naman po, um, alam ko kasi na hindi ganun katagal yung pinagsamahan nyo with the players and coaches. Pero what is it that you feel proud about your coaches and your current players in Bali Pure that you think will be a big uh, plus for for the team pagpasok sa PVL? Sir, you can unmute, unmute your mic. Sorry, gaya nga nasabi kanina that 
uh, we believe in these pairs. That's why they're here. No, uh, line up sila. We had a lot of uh, uh, not. I would not say it a short list, a long list. And dami pang ako makatok sa amin up to now na masali sila sa team. Big names, ha? Pero hindi na namin sila ma-accommodate dahil puno na yung team. And yung kinuha naman namin mga players, I think uh, ka, kaya nila eh. Uh, meron silang skills and potential sa, on their own. Uh, kaya, it's just a matter of developing them. No, uh, tsaka yung nga, yung gelling kung paano kay coach yan. With regards sa coaches, wala naman akong naging magiging problema dahil uh, si coach yan at tsaka si na coach Clarence, they were my former coach during 2019, coach yan. 2019. Kaya nga lang, we didn't have that much material but uh, hindi ko expect na mananalo ng Ano, at least we won four games at uh, tinalo namin ng Air Force dalawang beses hindi, naka, na, hindi nanalo ng kahit isa sa amin with the new team and especially that is a younger team no? uh, talagang out of uh, college yung mga yun uh, katatapos na ng college walang experience sa paglalaro sa, sa mga semi-professional na, na, na tournament no but still, uh, Coach John was able to uh, lease. Uh, and I told him uh, one time that I commended him uh, uh, with, with that lineup. Sabi ko, at least nanalo tayo ng apa. So I think with this lineup, baka maragdagan ng walo pa yan na panalo. Well, okay. yeah. so, apat na lang kasi kung walo. Kasi dosi lang pala yung teams, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to win 11 to be in the finals. Depende ho sa format. Baka yung 8 is enough to get to the championship. Depende sa format. <laughs> Yan na nga. Kung baka biglang hatiin sa dalawa. No? But <laughs> I, I, I spoke with uh, Mr. Ricky Palu regarding that. Sabi ko, if naman us the, the chance to makalaban namin lahat no? and para ma-feel namin nung, kung paano talaga kalalakas kung mga makakalaban. Mm-hmm. Tsaka doon sa exposure din ng ng uh, Bali Pier, no? especially hindi biru-biru yung Andy, yung gastos dito. Diba? So, magastos din. Yan. So, para masulit yung sulit yung ano, yung yung ano, yung, yung, ano, yung ginagastos ng mga companies. No? Yeah. That's true, sir. Thank you for ano, your answer. Um, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you, sir. So, Vince, Okay, um, my question kay Mr. Cortez. Sir, you, you're a former professional athlete. Have, what advice or words of wisdom have you given to your players now that they are professional athletes? Well, hindi pa kami nakapag-Zoom meeting regarding that, but I will uh, force address and tell them uh, yung mga pinagdaan ng class professional players. No? Uh, Especially uh, when it comes to, alam mo, pag professional ka na, iba na yung dating mo, iba na yung dapat ginagalaw mo sa labas. No? Especially, uh, they look up to you because uh, may mga pangalan na kayo. Uh, so, hindi basta-basta ang lalabas ka nung naka-shorts, naka-chinelas. Parang you have to be, you, know, you have to be groom or you have to be well-dressed when you go out and Yun, uh, ang, at saka ang ma-advise ko sa kanila, since this is their career already, they should love it and they should uh, uh, what's this? protect. Uh, what I mean by protect, uh, especially, uh, alam mo sa larangan ng laro, especially team plays, uh, team ano, kailangan mong uh, i-secure yung position mo to be kung sa basketball, first five it's a valuable for six. So once you secure that position, especially these professionals already, you, you know, uh, kailangan eh, pangalagaan mo yun. Hindi mo ba sa bibitawan. Kasi pag nag-relax ka, kung mo for six ka na, bigla mong uh, binitawan yung pag-iinsayo mo at hindi, hindi ka na nag-focus at medyo 
nag-kumpiyansa ka masyado, mawawala ka sa first six, di ba? So, anyway, so yun lang. Uh, and I would advise them, of course, since uh, career na ito, professional, to save uh, with their ano, with their salaries or allowances that they'll, they'll be given. No? Palagi silang magsasave. Uh, kasi maraming, kung, ayan, Vince, kung alam mo lang, Mm-hmm. sa PBA no? uh, daming mga talagang hindi nag-save uh, na players so wala uh, kawawa sila uh, sa mga sitwasyon nila ngayon na, uh, kasi hindi nila pinalag- pinangalagaan yung kung anong dapat para sa kanila uh, so yun lang yun lang ang masasabi ko as a, as a professional as former professional player One more question, sir. Yes, Meron sir. bang difference or distinction yung team na to sa mga past teams na hinawakan mo, especially now, kasi you've been around basketball for a very long time, and now you're in women's volleyball. Is there a difference, a distinction in the team management? Oh, ang laki. Kasi, Vince, alam mo naman, yung mga basketball players, mga brusco, tapos uh, kanya-kanyang ego. Mm-hmm. Lahat siya, nahawakan mo from the coach down to the ball boys, uh, utilities na, na big, uh, niyan, uh, kailangan na inaalagaan mo mabuti. Pag hindi mo nahawakan yung ego ng isa, uh, alam mo, isa lang ang uh, uh, medyo hindi magandang attitude dyan. Eh. Mahahalo na yan, masasali na yung iba dyan. So, yun palagi, yun ang inaano ko. yun ang uh, masasabi ko dun sa question mo. Thank you, sir. Okay, Coach Romel, um, kasi since uh, pandemic tayo ngayon and uh, you, you, mga what, more than a year ka na hindi nagko-coach, as in coach sa floor, sa court, yung growth mo as a coach, paano mo na pa um, How should I say this? Paano na pa angat mo siya? Have you been uh, mga coaching seminars, looking at yung mga stilo ng coaches abroad, mga national team coaches abroad, um, mga club teams? Your growth as a coach, paano mo siya na pa um, yung growth mo? How, how have you been able to um, increase yung growth mo as a coach? Um, actually, uh, kahit player ka or, or as a coach ka, dapat, dapat maging student of the game tayo lahat. Uh, so what I did since wala uh, chance to uh, coach physically and be on the court, ang ginawa ko, uh, nanood ako ng mga, ano, na mga videos ng uh, both men and women's, men's and women's na national team, uh, from the Olympics to the club teams, uh, kung ano yung kung ano yung pwedeng ma-accommodate uh, from the men's uh, play na ilagay sa women's, parang mga ganun. So, yun lang. I, I think yun, yun lang magagawa natin for now eh. Kasi even uh, coaching seminars, kahit webinar, hindi naman madami. And so, ang ginawa ko is pinupo ko yung sarili ko at inano ko ng photo videos. Thank you, Coach. Okay, Gaira and Grace... Same question as kay coach, pero bilang player, nitong more than a year na walang court time, walang laro. Um, have you been, yung parang nag-pick up, tumingin sa ibang players, uh, whether here and abroad, and yung mga kilos nila, mga galaw nila, tapos in-incorporate nyo sa laro nyo. May mga ganun ba kayong ginawa during this, ano, in order to improve, as a, improve and grow as a, as a professional player? Uh, what uh, what my dad made me do actually was he made me watch my old games. He told me to check um, what I was weak in and what I was what was my strength so that um, I already know what to practice on more. Tapos he uh, we watched also yung games ng international like Japan. We watched their techniques and we also tried to uh, do it here at home. We tried to do the um, approaches or the defense which was challenging kasi yung sa space it's hard 
And I think it's gonna be hard also when we're on the court na. Kasi iba yung intensity pa rin when you work out at home and then when you work out in the court. Yeah. Grace? Uh, same din kay <clears throat> Gaira. Um, yun. Dami rin akong pinapanood like sa YouTube or Instagram. Yung mga basic, I mean, strengthening kasi gusto ko talaga tumaas yung talod ko. Yung pinakano ko ngayon. Um, yun, like, pinapanood ko rin talaga yung mga dati kong games. Ano yung mga weakness ko? Which is, alam ko talaga yung receive ko. <laughs> Number one yun. <laughs> um, yun yung kailangan kong improve lalo. Yun nga, limited din talaga yung space. Pero, kaya naman. I mean, mas, sa everyday naman, kailangan din talaga na pagtrabahuhan. Although limited yung resources, yung, yung space. Pero kaya naman gawan ng paraan. Kasi, para din naman talaga sa amin yung yung pagpapakondisyon din talaga. I mean, lahat, alam nating lahat, nagigil talaga yung mga players ngayong maglaro. I mean, <laughs> ewan ko lang kung anong magayari, pero exciting talaga. Ayun, yung mga nilulook forward din pa talaga. So, lalo na pag face-to-face na rin talaga yung play. Salamat. Brian? Alright, thanks, Vince. Um, I have a couple of interesting questions here on social media. It's from... Irui, Iruj, or I think this is backwards, Jury, Yuri. Um, this question is addressed to Coach. Coach, are you also studying CEV Champions League to see if you can apply it as a team mo or players mo? Um, yes. Um, any videos na makita ko sa, sa YouTube or nag-run by sa newsfeed ko, uh, I see to it na uh, kahit, papano, in, kahit in passing, mapanood ko muna and then I'll just watch the whole uh, game on a later time. But yes, uh, yung mga videos na pwedeng pagkuhanan talaga ng, uh, ng mga may ituturo pa sa mga uh, players natin. Um, very ano ako doon. Very up to it ako doon. Okay. And a follow-up question is um, how do you keep up with, the tra- with your players' training and conditioning? Um, we have them send videos nung ng mga trainings na nung uh, pinapagawa namin sa kanila. And then, if may makita kami mali, uh, yun, kinokorek namin. So, dapat sa susunod na video, makorek namin. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully talaga mag, ano na yung... This one do like to stop. Kumokorek uh, 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 para mas mas maganda Coach Ay, uh, yeah, sorry. Can you hear me na? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Ayun. Ah, uh, 'yun nga. Uh, um uh, we make them send videos na lang uh, for now. Uh, every day 'yun yung mga pinapagawa namin. Uh, we correct kung ano yung mga kailangan i-correct and Um, yun, for, for the time being, yun parang talaga pwede namin gawin. Eh. Uh, hopefully, maging maayos yung sitwasyon para makapag-face-to-face na rin. Alright. Uh, Sir Hill, follow-up question ako sa inyo. This is, ano, I went through your lineup just now. I, yes. I, I ano, kumbaga, talagang nakita ko a uh, majority of your players are talagang bata. Uh, you have uh, four players who are 26 and up. Um, was this part of the ano um ano ba pag ako kasi tawag mo to ano to is this part of your plans for the future or or something like that uh yung team namin is uh, a mix of uh, veterans and newcomers but yung mga newcomers namin are really not that newcomers no hindi naman bago sa laraan ano gaya ni na Lai Bendong sina Alina Bicar these are superstars uh in their own right sa mga sa UAP no especially uh naglaro yan sa mga championship teams no so with regards to sa mga veterans namin uh uh, uh anyan uh, medyo uh, sanay na rin yan uh, and with this team uh, i think uh, i believe na may pupuntahan dahil 
uh, I think we have three six footers. Yeah. Uh, kami atam pinakamalaki lineup sa middle uh, middle uh, blockers. Eh. So because I I always believe kasi ako nung naglaro ako ng basketball defensive player ako. So I I I spoke with the uh, with the uh, coaches the coach yan sabi ko. Uh, compensate natin yung uh, kakulangan natin sa offense sa defense ka. Uh, that's why we have three six footers sa uh, middle. Uh, tsaka lahat naman nakita ko nakita namin sa mga napanood namin sa kanila when they were playing sa both leagues na they can play good defense. No? Uh, yun, ang, yun ang importante sana yung magkaroon ka ng first ball para makapalo ka. Tapos yung makablock ka pag offense naman yung kalaban mo. So, I, I, I believe in this team. Uh, maganda itong, ano, itong uh, mixture na nakuha namin uh, ni Coach John, yung mga newcomers and the veterans. Pero yung newcomers don't ano, na mga bata sila, baro nung maglaro yung ngayon. So just for the record, the three the, the three six footers you're referring to is Genevieve Kasugod, Shirley Salamagos, and Rosel Baliton, tama ba ako? Baliton, yes. Yeah, and we have what Sati Spiritu at five eleven. Yeah. Mm. So we have four. Na si Rosel can can play what a coach. Pwede niyan si Rosel, di ba? Ah, uh, pwede po middle, pwede ng uh, opposite po pwedeng opposite. So, maraming malalaruan yung mga ano, mga bata, mga yung sa position. Um, na, na ma, ano tawag dito, marorotate si coach kesa dun sa nakaraan namin team, talagang walang-wala kaming ano, walang-wala kaming ano tawag dito, uh, mga mga pampalit, no? pampalit sa mga ibang ano, ibang mga players, no? after nung nung iba wala na hindi ba sa makatwid hindi malalim yung bench namin i think now uh, medyo meron meron konting uh, lalim yung bench namin yan for 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 this year okay i just have one question to ano um gaira kasi you said nga that your dad is closely monitoring you your performances and uh, tapos yun nga that's aside from um, coach Romel Um, sa iyo ba hindi ka pa parang nabo-burn out or nape-pressure any, uh, anything to perform, to deliver for ano, when you play? At first, I was really pressured to play again for, for a new team. Pero my parents told me, my mom tried to calm me down na parang it's a new team. You can be a new you. You can learn more. You have new coaches. You can adapt. So that's what um, calmed me down. My mom calmed me down. And then As for my dad, I guess he already knows my program with the coaches from Bali Pure. So he would adjust like, okay, you didn't do this today, you should do this. And then when I'm tired, he would he would ask me naman na, you, can you still go? Or um, or he would push me na, no, we have to do five more. He's really intense at home. So I'm really thankful for that. Kasi I guess it would be a better transition when I come into the court na mas makakagalaw ako ng maayos and I would have that good condition to play and hindi ako siya doon hihingalin. Alright. Thank you, guys. Uh, Andy, you, you're next. Thank you, Sir Brian. Uh, this is for the players first. Uh, ang Grace kasi, I, I also know how important your family is Uh, in terms of dun sa paglalaro mo kasi ang hanap buhay mo rin ay yung ano, trabaho mo ay yung paglalaro mo rin at alam ko napaka-importante ng pamilya mo sa iyo na ma, na ma, kumbaga ano yung suporta nila at yung uh, pag-unawa nila sa iyong trabaho ano yung um, sa iyo naman yung ano um, pananaw mo uh, ano yung naibibigay ng pamilya mo para ikaw ay magpatuloy sa iyong paglalaro sa iyong trabaho? Number one is yung support nila since day one. I mean, yun yung pinaka-pinangugutan ko talaga ng lakas until now. 
um, yung support ay yung tiwala na binibigay nila sa akin na kaya kong gawin. Like, kahit, I mean, regardless nung nangyari, I mean, andyan pa rin talaga sila. Importante talaga yung support na binibigay nila sa akin. Doon ako kumuha ng lakas, lalo na sa anak ko. Um, I mean, ginagawa ko naman talaga to para sa akin. Yes. Yan, I mean, pag pinagahandaan ko din talaga yung future. Katulad ng sinabi nyo, ito yung pinakahanap buhay ko. Yun yung pinaka-career ko. Ang um, laking tulong talaga sa akin, lalo na sa, sa family ko. Um, kaya, sobrang thankful ako. Lalo na kay Sir Hill. <laughs> um, sa management ng volunteer kasi, binigyan nila ako ng pagkakataon. I mean, sa second chance na binigyan nila sa akin ngayon. Despite yung nangyari, um, Andiyan pa rin sila natang- para tanggapin ako. And thank you, sir. Thank you po. And sa mga coaches, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Grace. Uh, Gaira, um, I had an opportunity uh, back in the early 90s to play against your dad. He was one of the best uh, players in the collegiate level at that time. Um, and I, obviously, you got the, ano, the genes from... Ano, from him also pero i'm i'm curious din eh is your whole family uh, athletic also along with your siblings and your ano your mom um during college my mom was a cultural dancer and then my two brothers my eldest brother um he played for both of them my two bro- two older brothers they played for adamson for uh, basketball during their high school days and then When my eldest brother moved to Lasal, he played track and field, and then after that, he just mod- he he did um, a bit of a modeling career. And then my brother, my my second older brother, he played for CSB, track and field also. Ah, uh, yung connection dun sa kanina tinanong sa yon tungkol dun sa kasi kinekwento mo kanina yung dad mo kasi tinetrain ka. Meron bang um, at nung simula nung pag yung paglalaro nung nagtutu natututo ka pa hanggang doon sa pag-college um, na pressure ka ba sa dad mo na siya yung nagte-train sa o natural na lang na na-accept mo na yung ano yung pag-ensay niya yung pagtuturo yung mga tips niya natural ba siya na ma-accept yon At first it was hard kasi I had no experience at sport for sports talaga as in zero I would just stay at home eat watch TV that was my routine and then yun nga na shock ako na pinag volleyball niya ako So it was hard at first like we would I would be so tired you know in a dad I'm so tired I don't want to do this ganun pero he would be like no you have to play you have to play you have to be better tapos it's syempre it's a, it's kind of a pressure for me kasi Siyempre, my dad's a coach. So, I have to do my best always and show na, oh, I train with my dad, ganon. Pero no, now, right now, nung nag-mature na ako, parang naisip ko na, this is also my name. This is my legacy. So, it's a chance for me to make my own um, path, ganon, with his guidance, thankfully. Okay. Thank you. Uh, coach, Ikaw naman ha. <laughs> yes coach. Alam mo coach, uh, hindi mo lang alam, marami kang fans. Hindi mo lang alam. <laughs> salamat, salamat so, naman. <laughs> kasi ang gusto, yung mga fans mo actually gusto malaman kung ano yung history mo sa pagko-coach kasi ang dami mo nang kinoach, ang tagal mo nang nagko-coach. Eh. This is one of the questions na gusto nila malaman na yung kumbaga yung history mo sa pagko-coach. hanggang doon sa punto na to na nasa Bali Pure ka? Uh, uh, I used to play muna U- with UST uh, before sa UAAP. Uh, and after that, uh, ang unang pinag-coachan ko was with uh, Main and Tail with Coach Francis Vicente uh, sa, PV- sa PSL pa. And I also handled uh, assistant coach din ako sa men's team ng yung sa Gilligan's high school PSA. pa ata ako niyan coach and eh. then uh, after main and tail <laughs> oh, wow, wow coach <laughs> yan sir ayun coach tapos uh, naging Philips Gold 
and then we get transferred to PBL and then nagpoka rin na for two and a half years or pangalan two years and then uh, nagpoton and then Bali Pure. Yung isang tanong ko rin, Coach, and I know uh, a lot of people are interested to know. Um, nung, yung ano mo, yung paglalaro mo ba dati, uh, yung style mo ng paglalaro, na ilagay mo ba ngayon yan dun sa coaching mo, lalo na ngayon, na sa Bali Pure ka, o nag-ano yan, nag-evolve na siya through time? Um, meron na akong siguro karakteristik na nadala. Like, uh, Yung sabi ko kanina with being underdog. I like I like to be an underdog, underdog kasi mas naipapakita ko yung uh true worth ko as a player. Mm-hmm. So ngayon with with uh with coaching naman uh yung nagsimula ako na mag head coach sa Pokari, underdog kami noon kung tutuusin even with uh Michelle Gumabaw and Myla dun sa team, medyo underdog kami uh, because syempre baguhan nga ako head coach and then malalakas yung mga kalaban namin like with, with Sir Hill nga yung first na Bali Pure with sila Eliza and then kalaban pa namin yung Air Force dati so malalakas na teams uh, doon siguro din na-instill ko from then on na uh, yung pagiging underdog naging advantage para sa amin kasi mas naging loose yung mga players kasi with I believe na pag uh, favorite ka or heavy favorite ka medyo may pressure to play eh. and pressure to uh, excel palagi. So with underdogs, medyo relax yung katawan mo, may papakita mo na maayos yung skills mo. Coach, ito, huling hirit na lang. Ah. <laughs> okay, Coach. Kasi alam ko na binibigyan mo rin ng goals yung mga players mo eh. Uh, dito sa online, then kunyari on in the near future, yung face-to-face, tapos yung mga games na. Ano yung mga pinapaalala mo sa kanila o binibigay na goal na sana gusto mong magampanan nila? Um, yung kagaya na sinasabi ko kanina, uh, I believe in progress. Eh. So, kung let's say uh, sa sa game na to, medyo malala yung errors ng isang player, uh, binibigyan ko sila, binibigyan, usually binibigyan ko ng target yun eh, uh, na uh, ilimit natin to a certain number. Tapos yung isa naman, sina-challenge ko na medyo binibigyan ko siya, sila ng numbers. So yun lang. Uh, ang gusto ko kasi makita na nag improve sila day by day. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Uh, my last question hey, is for... Uh, uh, thank you, Coach, again. My last question, Sir Hill. Um... Kasi magkasama na kayo ni Coach Jan uh, for a number of years. Eh. And also, with your players right now, um, they are now part of your team. Ano yung sa kanilang tatlo po, your, your, your coach, in your uh, Gaira and Grace as your players, ano po yung uh, naki- nakita nyo po sa kanila na sa tingin nyo makakadagdag sa success ng Bali Pure papunta po sa sa liga. Well, one, no, kay Coach uh, John, of course, I always believe in him. That's why he's here. Uh, napakaganda nung ano, eh, uh, magturo yan sa mga bata. At uh, pakikita mo, dedicated talaga siya. At uh, yun nga, yung gaya kong nasabi ko kanina, na uh, na baguhan na team na hindi masyadong na-expose sa mga big tournaments. Nakapanalo kami ng apat. Uh, tapos, to beat, to beat Air Force twice, it's a, uh, it's a, ano yun, parang, uh, ano na yun eh, uh, achievement, no? So, tsaka, kay Coach John, wala akong nagiging problema dahil uh, uh, palagi kaming same level kung ano yung gusto kong magpagawa sa team at saka kung ano yung gusto ko uh, binibigay niya at saka nagkakausap kami palagi. Nga, gaya nga yun, sinasabi ko four to five times a day, pinukulit ko yan. Kaya kanina nag-uusap kami before this Zoom session on what to do already because you're one step ahead dapat sa mga plano, no? sa mga organization. 
Sure, sabi nga, top subject talagang tatawagan kita regarding ECQ. So, yun ang mga ganun na bagay na kailangan talagang nagbibigayan kayo at uh, nag, uh, pa, uh, ang tawag dito, lahat ng mga suggestions, lahat ng mga lahat ng mga dapat magawa, eh, nagagawa. Uh, so, sa mga players naman natin, si Kyra, I always believe in her. Pinapanood ko ito sa Coco Life. Eh. So, uh, I think she has the talent and uh, she has the potential to grow, grow some more. And how tall are you, Gaira? You're 5'8", 5'9"? 5'8". 5'8". Malakas din pumalo naman si Gaira. No? So, pinapanood ko siya. Uh, tinitingnan ko yung mga skills ng mga bawat players kasi usually nga, dahil pag may team ka usually kahit uh, hindi mo team pinapanood mo kasi para makita mo ano yung mga skills at later on baka bigla mo maging player no? so para alas, at least alam mo na kung anong galaw niya uh, with regards to Grace wala akong masabi dito uh, pag gusto mong pumuntos yan pupuntos yan pag kailangan niya wag lang siyang ano ha Ma, matatahimik kapag nag-error. Pag nag-error, nawawala. So sabi ko sa kanya palagi. Kil- <laughs> Kilalang kilala niya na, sir. <laughs> Oo. Kasi pag nag-error to, ano eh, biglang susunod-sunod eh. Hindi niya mapigil kung minsan eh. So, yun ang sinasabi namin sa kanya palagi. Pag nag-error ka, tapos na yun. Tapon mo na yun. So, laro ka na lang ng laro. Diba? Pero ano ako dito sa 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 kay ano kay, uh, kay Grace no uh, believe din ako dito sa paglalaro niya that's why palagi siya nandiyan at palagi kong hinahabol yan at uh, yun na nga so all I can say is this is your second chance uh, Grace uh, do well and ano bahala ka na bahala ka na. So, hindi yun. Alam ko ang ano nito. Alam ko yung ano niya. Uh, ang uh, ano niya, yung kumisan pag nag, uh, ano yan, nag-error. Ano na. Uh, hindi na niya ma-recover yung sarili niya. So, I, I think um, may, may bagong Grace Bombita na darating ngayon this coming uh, TV or bagong, bagong Grace. Uh, Uh, thank you, sir. That was good advice. Oh, alam mo na, Grace, ha? Nandig mo na, Sir Hill. Tapon mo na daw pag ano. <laughs> okay. uh, Vince? Okay, my question is kay Gaira and kay Grace. Kasi so, alam natin yung, yung physical preparation yung training araw-araw. How about yung mental preparation nyo for May 8? Kasi, for example, Gaira, you're not only a player, you're also a student of the game, you're also a daughter, and then uh, Grace, you're not only a player and a student of the game, but you're also a mother. Um, so, paano, you know, as far as your mental preparation nyo sa opening sa May 8, paano, paano nyo inihahanda ang sarili nyo as far as mental is concerned? Siguro what our coaches told us also, kasi with the rising of the numbers of COVID, they told us na no matter how long, maging, uh, kung ma-extend ulit yung opening, sab- sinabi lang nila sa amin na we shouldn't worry kasi it's, it gives us more time to prepare and to know each other on and off the court. So I guess that was a bit coming for us na hindi kami nag-overthink about it and me being an overthinker parang I'm trying to adjust din myself na if nag like here sa, at home when I'm training when I'm not doing a good job I tend to think about na oh puro mali ginagawa ko my parents told me na no schedule mo yung overthinking mo pang mamaya mo na yan para focus on the now not what you did wrong. Parang keep moving forward. That's what they told me. Grace? Sir, for me, um, niisip ko lang kung ano yung magagawa ko ngayon. Um, hindi ko iniisip muna kung anong mangyayari. 
in the future. Parang mas pinifocus ko yung anong pwede kong gawin. Kasi importante yun. And um, isa pa is get a proper rest. Kasi importante yun, lalo pa na pandemic. Um, importante talaga yung uh, may, may eight hours sleep ka and kumakain ka ng tatlo or more than pa. And um, yun, importante yung mindset. Um, lalo, katulad na sinabi ni Gaira, mas mahaba yung mas makikilala namin yung bawat isa. And advantage din talaga po sa amin yun kasi lalo pa ilang taon din po kami hindi nakapaglaro sa court. Um, iwas din talaga sa injury. So magpo-focus din talaga kami like this is strengthening condition. Eh, kasi madami ka din magagawa kahit na sa loob ka lang ng bahay. So, ayun po. Thank you. Coach, um, kailan kayo papasok sa bubble? Kailan ang schedule nyo na pumasok ng bubble? Um, sir, walang, ano, wala pang advice kung kailan talaga. Uh, we're waiting for uh, an announcement pa. Pero, but for now, wala pang, ano, wala pang ina-advise sa amin kung kailan. Okay, one more question, Coach. When nung binubuo nyo ni Mr. Cortez yung team, ano yung thought process nyo na yung players na gusto nyo makuha, na kailangan nyo makuha? Um, like, kasi si Mr. Cortez was known for his defense sa PBA, mm-hmm. so parang uh, kailangan ba defense-oriented players pa kailangan nyo makuha yung um, limitahan yung kills or spikes ng kabilang team and ang emphasis is sa blocking Uh, well, that's the goal, sir. Pero uh, more on versatility din yung, ano, eh, yung team. Uh, yung players na namin. Kasi like now, uh, a few players sa amin uh, can play multiple positions. So, yun din yung hinanap namin. Okay, thanks, Coach. Brian? All right, thanks, Vince. Um, uh, more. Medyo dumami yung biglang nagtatanong sa social media natin. No? Okay. Here is one for Grace. May nagsapat. Tanda ba yun? Ah, yun. Lakas ng braso ni Grace. Taasan na lang niya, talon niya, malafe garay. Anong ibig sabihin nito, ano, Grace? Paki-explain niya. Alam, sir, kung ibig sabihin, pero... Tapos yung sinabi niya, ako okay. din talaga gusto ko tumaas yung talon ko. Kasi para sa akin, pag mataas yung talon mo, nakik- I mean, ibabaw pa sa bola. Mas makikita mo yung blockers. For me, ah, ewan ko lang talaga sa ito. Curious ako tuloy kung gano'n ka yung sa braso mo pag nakita ko yung braso <laughs> <laughs> Ewan ko nga, sir, eh. Namalaki yung braso daw. Eh. Baka mga may pag- pag inampas mo kami, baka mga may mapilaya kami. Hindi <laughs> naman ako, sir, nangahampas. Ayoko lang. Okay, bola lang, bola lang, bola lang. Bola lang. Alright. And for Gaira, there's a question here for you. Saan ba yun? Ayun. Are you excited na makaharap ang ilang teammates mo from La Salle who will suit up, suit up for F2? Very much. Kasi ngayon pa nga lang nagte-text na sila sa akin eh. Congratulating me and also they're very excited also. Like si Tin, Kiamzon, she messaged me na she, she was watching earlier. So, hi, Tin. <laughs> Very excited. And um, I guess a new challenge also. Because it's been a while since I last played with them. And that was Coco Life pa ata. PSL pa kami nun. So, it's a new experience. Lalo na um, one year kaming walang games. It's gonna be fun. All right. And since you are there, there are questions here from Mark Francis de Vera to, to, to you and uh, Grace, though. No? What are your memorable moments playing volleyball? It's so hard to choose just one. <laughs> ganun, ganun ka Siguro, paano ba? Siguro for high school sa akin. First time ever ko ma-line up sa USD. Iba-iba eh. Kasi siguro when I was in high school yon first ever ko ma-line up. Noong college when the coaches of Lasal um, commended me and were praising me kasi 
from utility bigla hong transition sa open tapos ang gan- ay transition sa middle sorry tapos ang bilis daw ng improvement ko which boosted my confidence tapos siguro yung sa Coco Life naman was my first game sa kanila ever tapos i was POG that was really memorable right nice how about you grace sa akin sir yung ano unang top ako sa Pinoy you know, sa ano ang gym 2016 unang top ako talaga unang laro ko sa gym kasi sa ano ang gym and yung pangalawa yung nanalo kami team Bali Pure nanalo kami against <laughs> Ano, tawag dito, Air Force. Yun yung pinaka-memorable. Kasi wala talaga ako yung padalo nung pre-enforced. So, pangalawa yun sa memorable para sa akin. Ayun. Okay. Alright. Coach, hindi ka spared. Ikaw rin, tinatanong dito, what is the most memorable game for you? Um, as a coach, siguro yung ano, uh, yung first championship with Bukari. Okay. Uh, kasi... Uh, nasuklian ko yung ano yung tiwala na binigay sa akin ng Pokari management and totoo yung sabi ni Grace din siguro yung first win namin with Bali Pure uh, very memorable din yun kasi at least nabigyan namin ng uh, uh, masayang pangyayari sila sila Sir Hill Okay, Andy, you have any more questions or Vince? Yeah, uh, thank you, Sir Brian. Uh, coach, uh, this is ano for you, yung first oh, one. Coach. Kasi mal, da, mal, maraming paniniwala ang coaches tungkol din sa ano, position na ng mga ano ng mga players kagaya si Nabi ni Gaira. Ano siya nag-transition siya from one position to the next. Kasi sa isang ano sa isang uh, banda, meron tayong mga players na niniwala na yung, kunyari, outside hitter yung player sa simula, kailangan hanggang dun sa pag-progress niya, ganun pa rin yung pwesto niya. Tapos, uh, meron din uh, uh, na naniniwala yung, yung flexibility ng player sa isang position tapos i-transition sa kabila. Importante din kasi pagdating din sa ma- mataas na level, may chance din na ilipat siya sa ibang pwesto. So, ang ang tanong ko sa iyo, coach, uh, hindi ba ito pag nagpalit ang ng pwesto ang isang player, hindi ba ito detrimental sa kanyang development or sa tingin mo mas mapapaganda pa yung paglalaro niya pag kunyari nabigyan siya ng ano, opportunity maglaro sa ibang pwesto. Um, I think mas advantageous sa player yung Uh, who can play multiple positions kasi uh, kagaya ng sinabi mo si coach uh, may mga players talaga na if they're strictly open spiker lang sila strictly gitna lang strictly opposite lang but paano kung let's say nabigyan ka ng pagkakataon to play another position and you excel more than the position that you are playing right now so mas napaganda pa sa sa, sa career mo and kasi dun sa amin din sa before when we were playing kahit si, si Coach Clarence, uh, we used to play multiple positions din eh. So, uh, I think makakatulong din uh, in the long run sa, sa, sa player yun. Um, yun na rin ang tanong ko sa inyo, Grace, uh, Gaira. Uh, mauna ka na, Grace. Ano, ano ba yung pananaw mo doon? Um, sa akin po, nililook forward ko talaga po yung Um, katulad ng sinabi ni Coach. Wait lang po. Yung question ni Asher. Sorry. No. Oo. Yung, yung tanong ko na ano na sa tingin mo uh, mas maganda para sa iyo na mag-stay in one position para makafocus ka doon sa position na yun? Or do you think may advantage din pag alam mo rin yung ibang position na pwede mong laruin? Uh, sa akin, sir, advantage po bilang isang player kasi um, isa, iba, isa lang ibig sabihin no, na na may nakikita yung coaches na kaya mo kaya mo pang except sa position na ginagawa mo talaga kaya mo gawin yung position din. so import para sa akin sir um, advantage po yun um, ayun po okay. okay 
Thank you. Uh, ikaw naman, Gaira, ano pananaw mo dun? I think it's better po to have, uh, to be open to learning new positions and adapting. Kasi what if sa team mo, um, kailangan din ng gantong position. At least you know how, you have the experience and you're willing to learn. Kasi mas maganda rin yun for yourself kasi you're gonna improve na to be a better player. Hindi naman kasi pwede na isang position or isa lang alam natin. We should also learn from our coaches if we should be open and flexible to what they want us to do. Kasi they can see our potential na hindi natin nakikita. Okay. Thank you, Gaira. Uh, Sir Hill, um, uh, my question is uh, because you have been exposed uh, constantly for the past uh, couple of years uh, with volleyball teams, trainings, and games. Uh, I'm very sure that you have been ano, well educated with systems in volleyball. So my question is, um, how do you perceive the sport? in terms of yung structure po ng paglalaro at may similarity po ba ito nung naglalaro kayo as a player and coach, uh, as a basketball player and coach, may similarities po ba yung mga sistema nakita nyo sa basketball at sa volleyball? Oo, oh, in a way na may mga similarities yan eh. Kasi one is yung organization. No? Uh, um, at saka doon sa paglalaro, uh, Kung nga lang, uh, it's a uh, non-contact sports. Uh, medyo magkahiwalay kayo ng uh, court, no? Hindi ka mukha nung sa basketball talagang physical, no? So, yun nga, dito na naman, ang, ang uh, kumbaga, ang pakitaan dito yung mga skills ng mga players, no? Uh, same thing with basketball. but kaya lang yung basketball talaga? Uh, yan, a very physical game, no? Uh, hindi ka pwede, hindi maglaro na hindi ka prepared no? especially uh, ayun especially mga bata ngayon lalaki no ang lalakas sila so yung so organization naman i think it's more than the same no on how you treat your team uh, kami kasi din sa Bali pure nasanay kami sa ano eh may nan nanibago nga ako dito sa setup na ito eh uh, kami kasi after the game kaya na lang ni coach Chan ni ni ano ni ni Grace no we should win or lose we go out we eat we feed them that's how we take care of our players that's the you best know? part that's the best part yes <laughs> tapos uh, may short table kami ni na coach John twenty uh, one tapos uh, for a couple of beers so we really take care of our players that's why siguro kahit na hindi kami ganun kalaki ang budget namin hindi ka mukha ng mga iba they still go go to us to join the team because they know we take care of them lahat ng mga galaw namin para sa kapakanan nila no yun nga so yun uh, sa organization we all, we always believe na palaging pag ang mga players mo inaalagaan ng mabuti they will perform well Gaya nung sinabi ko sa kanila doon sa Zoom meeting, wala na kayong gagawin kundi maging sayo pagdating ng face-to-face -face na tapos maglalaro. Basta bala na kami sa mga sa mga kung anong mga gagawin namin para sa inyo. Like we're even thinking of uh, uh, kung anong, ma, kung anong maga, uh, ma, ano, maganda para sa kanila. Yan. But same thing with basketball. I, I, I managed a lot of basketball teams before. Uh, ganun din ang tra trato ko sa kanila. Kasi alam mo, yung pag binigay mo yung tiwala sa kanila at hinalagaan mo mabuti, ang sukli niyan sa'yo ng mga players, eh, maganda. Sigurado. Thank you, sir. Uh, Vince, Brian? Do you have any more questions? Yes, last one kay Coach. Yung, may binanggit siya kanina yung, um, yung sa, kumbaga kasi sa basketball, nakikita natin positionless na yung mga players. So ang tanong ko kay Coach, nakikita mo ba na doon papunta ang women's volleyball na eventually, wala ng position-position na, for example, 
um, a six-footer na libero, and dadati yung araw na magiging ganun ang, na mag evolve ang larong volleyball na may makikita tayong matangkad na libero, tapos later on, um, open spiker na, um, na even taller. Um, so, doon ba nakikita natin ang volleyball na doon sa direction na yun, napapunta na walang positionless baga? Well, Sir Vince, uh, sa laki ng mga players ngayon, sa laki ng mga uh, bata ngayon, nasa elementary pa lang, I wouldn't be surprised na magkaroon tayo ng libero na nasa six, na six-footer. But uh, sa ngayon kasi uh, may mga players talaga na hindi kayang maglaro ng ibang position because na na confine na confine sa ah uh, uh, sabi ni Sir Nico sa Andina may mga players kasi na pag open spiker gusto nila open spiker lang sila may mga players naman na uh, willing to try pero hindi mo pa mabigyan ng chance kasi hindi sila sanay sa ganong sa ganong laro or sa ganong position so i think um, there will come a time na magkakaroon ng ano siguro magiging positionless yung ano yung laro ng volleyball uh, how long i don't know pero siguro hindi hindi pa siguro in the near future pero there will come a time na magkakaroon siguro thanks coach Okay, Brian. All right. So, wala, ikaw, Andy, wala na? Wala na kayong katanong? I have, ano, uh, just, ano, two questions more for our players. Um, if this this coming season kasi, I'm sure, like what you said, Grace, sobrang excited ka na. Pero give me a specific um reason why na pagdating mo sa paglalaro dun mismo, pag nasa loob ka na court, ano yung mismo yung talagang gust, na mismo o gusto mo talaga na ma-recapture ulit? Dahil nga, almost two years na kayong din naglalaro. Pagdating mo sa loob ng court, ano yung unang iniisip na gusto mong gawin? Gusto mo mong pumalo? Gusto mo yung, yung samahan nyo sa loob ng court? Gusto mo mag-block, dumipensa? Ano yung any part nung doon sa paglalaro mo yung nami mismo na gustong gusto mong makamit ulit? Sa akin, una din po yung samahan namin. No? Kasi dyan magsisimula lahat eh. Teamwork. Uh, pangalawa is, yung first ball ko. <laughs> yun yung gusto ko talaga. Uh, kasi yun yung pula ko yung first ball Pero, katulad na sinabi ni coach, isipin ko lang na ako yung target. Kasi, pag inisip mo na ako yung target, parang, Sige, kukunin ko. Akin yan. So parang lalakas yung loob mo eh. So yun yung mga inaabangan ko na makikita na lahat. Char. <laughs> Ayun. How, how about you, Gaira? For me, siguro I miss the intensity of the games. I miss the, the pressure in a way. Tsaka, syempre, iba pa rin yung pride mo when you're in the court and then scoring, blocking, doing things you really love. But what I'm most, ex- most excited about is the coaches, how they're gonna help me improve and what they can what they can teach me to become a better player. That's Although na I'm familiar with the system kasi I came from USD, iba pa rin like when they're handling you na talaga. Eh. So that's what I'm really, really excited about. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you, Sir Hills. Thank you, Coach uh, John. Brian, back to you. All right. Vince, any more? No more na. We're good. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Sir Hill, my question dito, daddy ko for you. <laughs> Saan daw nabibili yung t-shirt niya? <laughs> yung body peel. So here, like, uh, yeah. I just had the, I just had this printed. Uh, okay. This is the new T-shirt. I'll show it to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, pinagawa niya lang, sir. Yes. Yeah, so, 
uh, this is the no for the for the players and the staff. Ah, okay. Uh, para sa practice. Uh, pero don't worry, Brian, Andy, and uh, Vince. I will give you. Yeah, yeah. Daddy ko na lang, sir. Siya. For as long as maging fans kayo ng Bali Pure, bibigyan ko kayo. Eh, kahit saan naman kayo, sir, fan ako. Ano ka ba? Oo nga, alam ko. Bibiro lang kita. Thank you in advance, sir. Uh, you're welcome, Andy. Thank you, sir. And mayroon ditong question for Gaira. Bala ako sa masagutin. May bala ka raw ba mag-artista? Um, <laughs> well, whatever God gives me na opportunity. I'd go for it if it's a blessing. <laughs> Kamukha mo raw si Rufa Gacheres nung bata ka. <laughs> anyway, if there are no more questions, I'd like to give the floor to our guest for your final uh, remarks. Gaira, since you're there, ikaw na mauna. Um, I'd like to thank you, sirs, for giving us this chance to have fun and show what we can expect from our team. Um, I'd like to say hi to all the supporters of Bali Pure. Thank you for tuning in with us. And also, hi to my family in um, Tai Tai. Also, hi to the T20 cyclists. Oh, may gusto ka rin i-promote. Mayroon ka, ba, mayroon ka bang business during the na ginawa this pandemic? Um, guys, mag-curly girl routine na kayo. <laughs> okay. All right, Grace. Um, thank you po uh, for inviting me as one of your guests. Um, and thank you din po sa lahat ng supporters ng Valley Tour and magiging supporters ng Valley Tour. Um, sa family ko, hello. Sa Bicol, hello. Okay. Thank you po. All right, thank you, Grace. Coach! Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, first and foremost, thank you for uh, having us sa show nyo. And uh, thank you also sa support ng lahat uh, valuable uh, supporters in general. Especially sa uh, supporters ng Bali Pure. And uh, mahay nga pala dun sa mga players namin kasi nakatune in sila ngayon. Yeah, okay. And of course, my best friend of them all, Sir Hill. Yes, uh, Brian, uh, Andy, and Vince. Uh, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you very much for having us uh, today. Uh, especially, uh, so at least, uh, napupumot yung aming team. Kahit na sinasabi kami ang nasa baba. Uh, but I think, uh, I, I, I believe, and I always tell uh, Coach John that this will be a fighting team. Uh, sabi nga doon sa Zoom meeting namin sa kanila, dapat they should have the never say die attitude. Parang tinebro ba? Yun. <laughs> uh, uh, that, tapos yun, um, to our supporters, of course, we'd like to thank them. Huwag silang magsawa na sa kaka-support sa amin. Sa mga players natin uh, na nanunood ngayon, uh, nasa quarters kasi nasa, may quarters kami. Mm. Because ang ginawa namin, Uh, nagpa-quarters kami kasi karamihan sa kanila nang galing sa province. Uh, and then, meron silang isang sasakyan going to the gym uh, back to the uh, quarters para kasi ayaw namin silang uh, ano, para sa protocol at saka hindi sila ma, ano, ma, mahaba or ano, hindi sila magkaroon ng, ano, ng contact sa mga ibang tao. So talagang we're doing the protocol. Uh, gagawin namin, pag nag-start na kami, yun ang ano, nasa quarters sila, go to the gym, then back to the quarters, and they'll stay there. And then may mga sufficient food naman na nakalaan na, uh, para sa kanila. So yun nga. And um, uh, hi to Roselle again. Happy birthday, Roselle. Hope you enjoy your day, this special day. And of course, wait, as I'll say... Hi to my Bali Pure uh, family, uh, of course, and my uh, PWSI family. Hi to everyone. Sir, baka yung ibang team, yung team members yung bali natin yung mag-guest din. Yes, oo. Uh, anytime. Basta uh, sabihan mo lang ako, Brian. Sige, sir. Yun, kasi I could mag- give you at least mga siguro four or five or six. Matutuwa, sir, si Andy Chaksivis siya. Marami kami makukulit. 
Oh, sige. <laughs> Pero yun. And sir, biyang walang pagkakataon yung mga co-host ko. No? Let's start off with Andy. Your final words? Sir Hill, yes. Coach John, Gaira, uh, Grace, thank you for for your time. Thank you for uh, giving very intelligent answers. And I hope you, I wish you uh, good luck in uh, your coming season. And Vince. Um, to Mr. Cortez, Coach Romel, Gaira, and Grace, best of luck this coming season. Um, we hope that uh, you know we hope the cases, the rising cases, don't affect the opening of the league because the, the many fans want uh, want to see professional volleyball amongst amongst all the teams already amongst all the teams. So best of luck, uh, stay injury free, ladies, Gaira and Grace. And um, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, stay safe, everyone. God bless. All right. And before I end the show, I'd like to, ano, everybody picture lang tayo, sandali, para lang may group photo tayo. All right. On three. One, two, three. There you go. And on that note, thank you everybody for uh, joining us tonight. It was a very informative interview. And um, do uh, like and subscribe us because uh, in the following days we still have more shows. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be basketball talk. And Monday, alam na ni Andy kung sino yung surprise guest and Vince. So you just have to stay uh, watch out. Here. On that, uh, uh, good night everybody. Take care and God bless. Remember, stay safe. Night. Thank you.